the amount of people who said, who are nothing to do with the filmmaking process, just said, I love those real sets. That is there, that house is there. And it made them absolutely ecstatic. My family come from Trapped on Avon, obviously home of the Royal Shakespeare Company. And I used to go to the theatre a lot as a child. I saw a poster advertising theatre design at Wimbledon School of Art. Amazing experiences at Wimbledon. My final project, I worked with Derek Jarman. I was doing The Winter's Tale, he was our tutor. What I now know, which is something that you've picked up on about my work, is there is a theatricality about it. You know, working with Joe was just the most amazing meeting of minds. It's this theatricality that he loves and I love. One of the rooms that we did in Charles II, it was based on Rembrandt, the one where they're doing the autopsy and they're all looking mm. over the dead body. In a council chamber was that, and we painted all these faces on the walls around them. So the faces were about three or four foot high. Pride and Prejudice. To our eyes, everything is exceptionally exquisite, but to this Bennett's eyes, it's all really old fashioned and she just wants to get rid of it. I love this moment where Jacqueline's costumes are made out of linen and, and they're literally hand sewn and they walk in there and they all sit down and they just go, Phew. you can just see they're this scruffy little family in this nouveau riche of the moment room. As much as it's about the aesthetics, it's about the storytelling of the piece. Anna Karenina. If you had a scene, how minimally can you do that scene? What is it that says you're in a stables? And so that's why we had the post in the middle of the floor. Stripping it all away, how little can we do? Where in the theatre would this happen? And that's where the scenic art came to play massively. I mean, I think we did over 50 items of scenic art to represent where we were and how it worked. The ice rink, it's written, ice skating on the on the frozen river Neva. And that painting, because we bought these amazing books, art books in Russia, but that painting is the frozen river Neva from roughly that period. You're constantly playing with perception of reality. The little boy with the train set and the landscape in the train set is the steps of Russia. Then you go inside the carriage and you're inside the carriage and it's this beautiful carriage and that's a full-size carriage where she meets Madame on Blonde. We made certain rules like the Levin character, he was the only one who was pure. That is why we would go outside into the real world. It is like being stuck in a doll's house. <laughs> with Barbie was, it was all about what is a toy? How does a toy exist? How do you make something toy-like? And you're creating this hermetically sealed world. We arrive at this idea of it being like in a soundstage, it's like in a box, which goes back to the reality of what we see in the background. The mountains are the perfect mountains painted on the perfect day. One of her favorite references was a Californian artist who's in fact just died called Wayne Tebolt. He used to paint cakes and things like that but the palette was kind of pastels but he, he didn't use any black or white in them all the shadows were made up of turquoise and dark purples and things you know so it's, and in fact we didn't use in barbie land any black or white one of the key things was looking at the these american dioramas they have in museums where you have like the bear in foreground which is a full-size stuffed bear surrounded by real grasses and it has a painted backdrop that's maybe about six foot away from it and there's this transition between one thing and the other that is totally real but completely you know it's not real. Paul and Pressburger, they have a kind of truth. They create a world that has a truth to it. It's not being slavish to reality but it's very real. Paul and Pressburger couldn't go to Nepal. But instead of shying away from it or doing it half-heartedly or realistically, there's that incredible shot where you're looking down into the valley and, you know, looking up at the bell. And, and I've actually seen photographs of them on the back lot at Pinewood and the little set they built and the matte painting that was around it. The way that they held that matte painting for so long, you are saying this is what it is. The artifice is true.